We coined the phrase of body intellectuals. Uh, obviously, we're intellectuals. And when I taught at PSR, that was sometimes problematic for people who wanted to come from their very heady classes and just lay down on the floor of my classroom and say, can I be a body now? <laughs> you know. Um, but I am, I mean, Phil and I are intellectuals and we think through the lens of our whole experience, which we would call the body. So even our thinking would be embodied, right? And how does that present? Um, so having, a, having an embodied way of talking and thinking, it has been our quest to try to find accessible language, non-theistic language, for anybody who might be interested in the proposition of how our lived experience could be more generative for us. And we found that through singing and dancing and storytelling and silence, these other big, big forms that we don't often use in discourse, these actually present separate you know, avenues of information that do not cross over. They, you can't get the same information from talking as you get from dancing, or from dancing as in singing. You can't. So by bringing them all together like the ancients did, then we have more data, we have more, you know, amazing information in our own lived experience. You bring that into a community body who's having that, so many things shift and change. There's so much more information and complexity, mm -hmm. but it is possible for people to notice. Uh, the, people tend to slow down, you know, and actually have their life experience, and they enjoy it, and they feel more connected mm. uh, because everything, I call it the motherboard, the mo everything is being brought online, and including our relationships. And because yeah. trauma and war and uh, enslavement, there are many reasons why people do not want to enter the body. And, you know, our great spiritual traditions say suffering is, the, is part of the package here. How are we going to suffer? So that's a big part of the journey. Well, and they're probably, I mean, it seems like in a lot of the religious traditions, there are various th things that are taught in order for us to get some control over our physicality. And that's not a bad thing. Um, there, there are some really good reasons to do that. Um, but I, I think we might also believe that we may have overdone that just a little bit. Or we're at the time where We've got that down. We don't need to practice that so much. We can move on to another way of being, which may, in fact, uh, give us some other information or, or, or insight or whatever it is. You know, and, and I think one of the things we would say that we, we believe is that um, if you do different things, you, it's possible to learn different things. So if you only do the things you always do, you'll only learn what you can learn from those things. You know, as soon as you do a different thing, then there's a possibility of learning something new out of that or having a different kind of experience. So our work is a lot about trying to expand the range, really reclaiming some of the things that we may have weeded out. Um, so, you know, it's really good when you're little to learn not to scream all the time when you're in public. Um, but it's also good to remember that we can scream um, and that there are times when that is probably a good thing to do. And if you're creating, if you're making something that's perceivable, then that's not only, you know, the experience you're having, but it's the experience that somebody else is having too. You know, if I'm just sitting here thinking, you know, you, you may not get much. You may not get much. So um, part, a lot of our work has to do with this interaction. It's not just me doing my thing. It's really uh, me either doing my thing with a witness or I'm doing it in conversation with someone or somehow there are people. I mean, it's as simple as if I sing, somebody else can hear it. If I don't sing, nobody else can hear it. Um, so there's immediately mm -hmm. a, a, a connection across, uh, across space. Um, you know, and this is not even to mention kind of all that we've learned about how the movement of one body affects other people and the whole body. So um, it's, it takes that out of that individual realm too into the more um, community realm or even larger.